Well, this is currently what I'm using for dust collection. I have cyclone separator and then an 18 gallon shop vac. And the dust collector has done such a great job that there's virtually nothing that ends up in the shop vac. So it seems kind of silly to have such a big vacuum cleaner. So my goal is to replace that shop vac with a three and a half gallon bucket. Well, this is what I'm making. It's basically a lid that goes over a bucket that holds the motor for my shop vac and allows me to hook up a two and a half inch hose. And I just wanted to make sure that all my cuts are going through. I use this remote to turn on the gantry, my vacuum cleaner, and the spindle. And it seems a little extravagant, but it is nice having an emergency stop button in your hand as you're watching it run. And before I take it off and lose all my positions, I want to make sure the bucket fits. Oh, that fits perfectly. Maybe a little loose, if anything. Time to cut some tabs. Put in some shallow pockets to uh, use as a drill guide. I'm just using a quarter inch bit just to give myself a little bit of a locating feature. Because I need to make smaller holes and I didn't feel like changing the bit on my router. So you can see the holes are perfectly centered. Here's the bottom of my shop back motor, and if all goes well, this will fit. These holes were not symmetric, so it only fits one way. There we go. Oh, it's a pretty snug fit. Filter goes on. And I just need to adjust the height of my all thread. That feels about right. And added some washers. I had previously marked and drilled these two holes. Throw a fender washer on there. There we go. It's a nice snug fit. When I made my dust boot, I made an extra one of these. It's a two and a half inch flange for my vacuum hose. Now yeah, let 
see how it fits. There we go. This is a good size comparison between my 18 gallon shop vac and my new 3.5 gallon shop vac. It's basically about the same size as my tiny shop vac, but with the power of a large one. And since I'm using my dust collector, I don't care about the capacity because the dust collector catches virtually 100% of everything that's coming through the hose. Here's a closer look at how it's built. Look at the underside. 